What's going on guys? It is, uh, we are in day 14 of being locked down here in the house. I haven't left the house uh, in 14 days. So it's been uh, pretty interesting here in Michigan. The whole state of Michigan locked down. Um, uh, I'm one of the lucky ones. I'm still working. I'm working from home. Uh, the business that I work in uh, is considered essential right now. So we are open and busy, but uh, I am doing all my work from home, which has been uh, interesting to say the least with both kids and uh, doing conference calls and uh, meetings and everything at home. It's, it's, it's been a ride. So anyway, it's finally nice outside. It's warming up in Michigan. So today I'm finally going to uncover the car put the wheels and tires on it for the first time and see how it looks. Um, so pretty excited to see how the new uh, front 17s look and the uh, the new beadlocks in the back look. So stay tuned. All right, so here we go. Got the wheels out. We went with 17s up front. Used to have an 18, but since we switched to the uh, Bear uh, Deep Stage 2.0 drag brakes, we can now clear uh, the 17s. This is a race master tire up front, four and a half by 26. And then in the rear, we got the new hotness, the uh, grabber blue bead lock. And this is a Hoosier quick time pro bias ply. The front's also bias ply. This is 28 by 11 and a half, 17 inch rim in the back as well. So uh, 17 inch wheels all around now instead of the staggered that we had. So we're gonna throw these babies on, put some air in the, uh, the system here and get this thing on the ground. There's the uh, there's them on. Obviously, I haven't lowered the car or anything yet, but they look pretty sick. The 17 up front looks so much smaller. This car started with 19s, then we went to the 18, and now uh, the 17 with the brakes. It looks really good with the brake back there, color matched. We'll get the other side thrown on and air it out. See how it looks. All right, bring this old girl to life for the first time in seven months. Can't start it, so there's no fuel. I can't get E85, but I can at least kick on the airlift and get the bags filled up. There she goes. Right, it's on the ground for the first time in months. T shut the door and air it all the way down. Man, it is low, like crazy. Literally sitting on the ground up front. It's definitely lower with the 26s up front. No spacer. Last year I ran a spacer up here. I'm not gonna run it this year just because I'm running uh, open-ended lugs in here just for the track so they can see it. So the tire doesn't, isn't as flush on this side as it used to be, but that's all right. It still looks, Killer. it looks sick slammed.
through the uh, 1552s on the wife's car too since I had everything out. So that is back in uh, summer mode as well. Granted, we can't drive it. Can't like go anywhere because we're on lockdown, but it is uh, ready for when we're allowed to get back out there. Just a quick update on the car. Wanted to do something car related since I've just been cooped up in the house the last two weeks working from home, so working 40 or 50 hours a week, hanging with the boys. And uh, so I want to do something car related. We can't drive here in Michigan unless we're going to the grocery store, hospital, or to and from uh, essential places of business if you have to go into work. Uh, like I said, I'm lucky enough that my work is still open and I'm able to work from home. There are people at my business that are working from there. Um, so anyone that's, uh, that's working right now, we really appreciate you. That means you are essential, either you're a grocer or a doctor or a PA or a nurse. Thank you for what you're doing. Um, this is definitely a hard time, but uh, I want everyone just to stick in there. We're gonna all get through this for sure, and then we're gonna get back to car stuff here sooner than later. So um, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel, guys. Like this video if you do, and thanks for watching. Peace!